Whether you're editing long form or short form videos, these are 10 CapCut editing hacks you may not have known existed on desktop. I'll be sure to note which ones are free and which ones include pro features, but most of the hacks today you can do on free versions, including my personal favorites like placing text behind you and the laptop scroll hack. As always, timestamps are below and let's jump in. The first hack that we're going to talk about is proxy editing. This is a free feature. If you're somebody who is editing on a less powerful laptop or computer where you notice your whole computer will run super slow in editing or maybe lag a little bit, or even if you're working with larger footage like 4K files, this hack is for you because when you first upload your media to your project, what you could do is you can right click on the media and select use file proxy. This is going to help you edit smoother and faster without compromising your video quality. Basically what this does, CapCut will temporarily replace your video files with lower resolution versions to make the editing process smoother, allow for faster playback and reduce the lag. Then when you export your video from CapCut, CapCut will automatically swap the proxies for the original files during the rendering process to retain the original quality. Now that we have our proxy created, I'm going to drag it to the main timeline so we could talk about hack number two. Hack number two is understanding your keyboard shortcuts. I know this may sound like not really a hack, but let me show you the difference in editing speed between not using keyboard shortcuts and then using keyboard shortcuts. So there's a little bit of black at the beginning. So I'm gonna do this and then maybe I want my footage to start here. So I am going to, what am I gonna do? Oh, press split here. Then we're going to delete. And then if I want it to end here, let's do that again. We're gonna split, delete, and then let's zoom in. Okay, now our video looks like that. So that is kind of the gist of editing without any keyboard shortcuts. Or with keyboard shortcuts, I could zoom in on the timeline, zoom out. We're going to delete everything from the left by pressing Q delete everything on the right by pressing W. If you wanted to split control V, then you could edit these separately. Again, zoom in and yeah, keyboard shortcuts. Let me tell you, honestly, understanding your keyboard shortcuts will make the entire editing process 10 times faster. Even if you only know like two to five different shortcuts, these are probably going to be the go-to and the ones you'll use the most. Our next hack is how to zoom in and out or even left to right using CapCut. A lot of people don't know how to do this and that is by using keyframes. So I have this clip on my timeline. There is motion already happening here. We could probably stabilize it a little bit. That keeps the video pretty engaging. Now with this clip, there is no motion happening yet other than the person writing. So if I wanted to create a zoom, zooming into the person writing, I want to add keyframes. So I'm going to put my playhead where I want the zoom to start. Let's have it just like start at the very beginning. So we're going to press add keyframe here. When you select add keyframe on transform, it's just gonna make sure the whole position that this video is in, the scale, position, rotate, whatever, all of this is just default. This is where it's starting. We love it, it's set. Now we're going to find where we want our zoom to end. Let's say I just want the clip to end here. I'm going to delete everything to the right by pressing W. And then for this final frame, I want it to end zoomed in on this person's hand. So all I have to do, because my playhead is already where the zoom is going to end, I'm going to pick what that final frame will look like. So we're gonna zoom in. Don't love that. Let me adjust it so it's on the person's hand. There we go. That's gonna be the final frame that this clip will be on for this finished zoom. And as you can see, CapCut already added the final keyframe because we made the crop adjustments already. So if you bring it back to the first keyframe, we already have a zoom action happening here. It's really as simple as that. I love it. Same thing if you wanted to have the zoom go from like left to right or the movement happening from left to right. We'll do that again. Beginning of our frame. So I want it to start here, but I need it to start from left to right. 
So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We're gonna go here. I think I wanna do that. So this is where we're gonna set our keyframe. That's the start position. Now let's bring it to the end and have our end position is gonna go all the way here. Now let's go all the way, yeah. All the way there. Perfect. There we go. And now when you play it back, beautiful, beautiful. The movement is happening. For hack number four, we are going to reframe our long form video and turn it into a short form video. So just for simplicity, so you could just focus on one clip at a time, we are gonna just focus on this one clip that is in our timeline. Really, it is super simple. All you're going to do is select the clip. We're gonna to go to video, basic, scroll down, auto reframe. And the aspect ratio for this clip is a 16 by nine. But if we're going to repurpose it to TikTok or YouTube or Instagram, we're gonna do nine by 16. So we're just gonna do that. And because this is the auto reframe, this one is part of the pro features but it automatically tracks you and I think it is so cool. So I'm going to press apply. Look how freaking cool it is. When you watch it back, it tracked me the whole time. Their AI tracked the main person. There is some blur because again, at the beginning we created proxies, but when we export it, it's gonna be the high crisp quality from the original clip. So it does look a little blurry, but that's just because we created proxies. Look how cool. I love this. I love being able to use this. Again, repurposing YouTube videos and being able to post it onto TikTok, Reels, Shorts. It's just a great way to maintain your presence across platforms and the auto reframe AI tool is just such a win. Now, if you've learned something new so far, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That's going to tell YouTube that other creators like yourself will find this video valuable. And if you learn two new things by the end of this video, consider subscribing. It's a great way to support my channel and help me to continue to create free content like this for you every week. Now, for any of you who are wondering about the B-roll that we are editing in this project, all of this B-roll that I will be using is B-roll that I downloaded from Storyblocks. My husband and I both personally have been using Storyblocks since 2020, 2021. And I have been talking about them on this channel for years because I genuinely love them. So that's why I am so excited to be partnering with them on this video. Now, for those of you who don't already know, Storyblocks has an unlimited downloads of diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost. As a new mom, I simply just don't have time to film extra B-roll for all of my videos anymore. Like my shot list, when I go to film, it's just make sure I can talk to the camera. That's pretty much it. So being able to have instant access to what feels like endless media that I could use to make my videos feel even more elevated while saving me time is like an immediate yes. So Storyblocks stock library is frequently refreshed with commissioned content based on the latest trends and what members are searching for to ensure that you'll have curated fresh content to keep your videos relevant that day. You can choose either a monthly or annual plan with no hidden or extra fees to basically unlock an unlimited source of content that gives you the freedom to test, experiment, and create more effective videos. And of course, anything you download with Storyblocks is 100% royalty-free, pre-licensed and ready to use so you can focus on doing what you love creating without having to worry about double-checking the legal rights on clips that you wanna be using. I'm someone who truly believes that B-roll is the secret to keeping videos engaging for viewers. So if you'd like to get access to an unlimited source of content, definitely check out Storyblocks. You can get two extra months for free when you sign up for an annual plan. So go to storyblocks.com slash modern Millie to take advantage of this limited time offer or use the link in the description. All right, hack number five is our background remover hack. This one is free or paid, and it's also going to be the basis of a few other hacks that we're going to be doing throughout the rest of the video. So if you know how to do this, you'll be able to have a lot of fun with editing in CapCut. 
So what we're going to do is select the clip that we want to remove our background on. I am going to remove the auto keyframe so we could see a lot here. And really all you have to do is there's a few things you can press here, remove background, right click, remove background. The pro version would be auto removal. And then the free version is custom removal. So with custom removal, you just check custom removal. You're going to use the regular brush as opposed to the smart brush. And then you'll just take some time outlining the main character or the person or whatever you want to keep. So if I wanted to keep the entire couch, and myself, I would just use the brush tool and start outlining everything. For auto removal, let me just show you that. We're just gonna check, oops, yeah. We're gonna check auto removal. This got rid of a little bit more than I wanted to. So I could layer custom removal on top of it and use the AI smart brush. So let's keep the couch. The couch will be for another effect we have. So I'm just gonna like roughly do this. Apply, there it is. Those are a few ways that you could remove the background in your video. Obviously it's going to be a lot quicker or more efficient or better quality if the background that you filmed on is very simple. If you have a messy background going on, it might be a little bit more tedious, especially using free versions and the free brush tool. Now in what scenarios would you even need to remove the background like this? Let's go to our next hack text behind you. Now text behind you, I feel like is very popular specifically in the short form format. So to do this, we want to first duplicate this clip. I'm just going to press control C, which is copying the clip. So if I right click copy, we're going to control and then we're going to paste it on top of itself. So paste control V. Now we have two clips happening at the same time. They're perfectly in line. Let's mute this top clip. Now for the top clip, the overlay, this is the one that we're going to remove the background. So we're gonna right click, remove background, auto removal. You can't see it right now because these clips are perfectly in line with each other. So while this is applying the cutout, let's add our text that we want. We're gonna go to text, we're gonna choose default. Let's have this go here, text behind you. We're gonna set up our text the way we want it. I think that's where I want the text to lay. Now, simply all you have to do is drag the text below the overlay. So right here, we're gonna drag it. And now your text is going to fall behind you. Now let's say it pops up here. Let me zoom in. So we have this. There we go, that's one option or you could add a fun animation to it. Make sure the text is selected. We're gonna select animation. And now it's going to, or maybe have it like scroll down to up. Let's choose slide up. Now it'll look something like this. There we go. Our next hack is also a popular one for short form, and that is having products pop up around you while you're talking. So it's going to be super similar to our text. We're gonna go to our internet. We're gonna look up a product and then we're gonna end it with PNG. That might give us the more clean images. Okay, this is sick, I like that. So I'm just gonna click on this. Let's do this one, this one's simple. We're gonna right click, save image as. This is a popular trend that creators do when talking about like product recommendations or their favorite makeup, like a get ready with me, they might like show to the camera, oh, I use this blush, but I also really like this one. And then they have like products pop up. So that's kind of when I see creators doing this. Here's our screenshot, drag it to our media. Now we're just gonna drag this onto our timeline where we want it to pop up. I actually want it to pop up after my text. And now what we're going to do, if you need to crop it in a little bit more, we're gonna crop it in a little bit more like this. And then we wanna remove that background. So we're gonna to go to custom removal. This is where, again, you could hand brush this whole thing. I'm gonna do auto removal and see what it does. There we go. And it automatically removed the checkered background for us. So now I'll just resize it and drag and drop it wherever I want it to pop up. So we have that. Same in the Adobe Premiere Boom. Pro. Pops up. If you wanted to add a fun little sound effect with it, let's go to the beginning of that clip, go to audio, go to sound effects, and then we're gonna look up pop. And then you could listen to any of these that pop up. Let's see which one sounds best. 
Yikes. You'll find an audio that you like, press add, and then make sure the audio here, you see like where the audio starts, we're gonna actually line that up to when the pop-up is happening. So that way when you watch it back, the pop is happening at the right time. Also, it's a little red here. That just means it might be a little too loud. So I'm gonna adjust the volume, hopefully have it match my volume here. That way it's not too loud. Cool. And that is the pop-up or product pop-up hat. Now, another hack that people don't really know about is utilizing templates in CapCut. This is just like a quick way to add some fun effects or even use pre-made video cuts where you can just like add your own B-roll to it. So if you want your videos to have like some cool effects, like if you want to have a video where it's nine different photos in one grid, you just choose this template and whatever the animation you see happening right here, that is what your video is going to look like. And you just get to choose your own photos to add to it. Let's scroll and look at a few others. Let's go to vlog, see what sort of templates are trending in vlog style. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like the film look, that would be a fun one. Something else that I like doing is doing like a phone mock-up. Let's look that up. Now, anything that like has a green screen, that's where your video would go. So if I wanted a shot of somebody like scrolling through my TikTok and I had a screen recording on my phone of my TikTok scroll, I would just use this template and then that's what it'll look like. Boom, so cool. This is also where people find the meme. I use TikTok as an example a lot because I prefer to consume on TikTok. That's like my for fun mindless app. And I feel like on TikTok is when we see a lot of meme style video, I guess on reels too. So you could scroll here and see what sort of memes are trending and then you could try to apply them to your own niche. Maybe it's not necessarily like a hack, but it is an underutilized feature that I think a lot of people overlook. And it's a great way to simply elevate your edits if you don't know how to edit all of those transitions and features yourself. All right, let's simplify our timeline real quick. I feel like we have a lot of stuff happening. So let me actually just clear this whole thing off and we'll go back to something simple like this. Hack number nine is being able to make your YouTube thumbnails within CapCut. So if you're editing a YouTube video right here, there's the cover option. So you just press cover and then you could select a specific still from, let's say you have a vlog, you could choose a specific frame and wherever you choose the playhead to be, that is a frame that you could then edit and add text to. So it's bringing up an entire cover design now. There's gonna be template recommendations on the left-hand side and you'll be able to choose templates or customize your own. This one's free, so let's just choose this template. So it looks like we would need two separate photos. I would click on this side and then replace with my own photo or from video. We're just gonna leave it there for simplicity and then you could customize the text how you wish. You could even adjust if you want, if you haven't color graded your video or you want your thumbnail to be a specific look. Let's do like a little bit more contrast here. Now you have your cover here and when you export, it will export your cover so that you could use that as your thumbnail. Now, if for some reason it doesn't export your cover separately and it chooses it as like the first frame of your video, you simply just screenshot that first frame. That's your photo that is what you'll be using as your thumbnail. Okay, hack number 10 is maybe my personal favorite next to the text behind you. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. So I want to really spice up this shot and I want to add an animation of like the scrolling laptop effect behind me because this is a shot of me on my laptop. So what if people could see both me and what I'm looking at on my laptop at the same time? So this is where we're going to kind of layer a lot of what we learned today. We're gonna to copy paste so that we could remove the background of this clip. I'm gonna make this a little shorter to save CapCut's time. Let's zoom in and right click, remove background. Make sure the couch is included. Cool. Now we are going to get the screen recording of our laptop scroll. So this was the scroll. Now that's cool and all, but I don't love it. So we wanna add an effect to our screen recording. Let me delete everything there. And the effect that we're going to add is going to be under video, basic. We're gonna go down to blend and we're gonna change the mode to darken. Now that's already better. Opacity, lower that a little bit and then playback. Cool, perfect. 
Those were our 10 CapCut editing hacks for desktop. Comment below which one you think you'll be using the most and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.